Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca is here because he's going to talk about how uh, pretty, I guess, it's been over the last couple of days here. Hey, Dan. It's been like so pretty the last couple yeah. of days, Victor. Right? <laughs> well, hey, it rained yesterday. Um, and probably the last chance of rain that I have in the forecast. So just a spoiler alert right now. Hopefully you enjoyed it yesterday because I don't think it's coming back for a little while, Whew. which I think many will be relieved to hear. Sure. Let's take a live look from Domenico's tonight as we look off across the harbor in Monterey. Oh, yeah, we've got some blue waters, a few ripples on the water, but nothing too extreme. Folks out there taking a look uh, on the pier or the uh, edge of the... Uh, well, I guess it's, is that a pier there? I think there's, a, what's the difference between a wharf and a pier? I guess it's technically a wharf, right? Wharfs are parallel to the co coast and piers are perpendicular. Isn't that the rule, Victor? You're the guy that knows all these things. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Sounds like you got something in your throat too. All right, well, hopefully you get that better. Either way, blue skies and beautiful weather out there today. It is sunshine, puppy dog, and ice cream weather here on the Central Coast or clam chowder weather. It's always clam chowder weather. Storm Tracker showing some high pressure to our southwest. This ridge building in, by the way, it'll be maximized over us tomorrow meaning we'll see the warmest temperatures of the next period of this weather system coming through. So hopefully you like warm weather on Easter. Chocolate bunnies may be in danger, believe it or not, due to all the warmth. Rain is being pushed off to the north. Raining in Seattle right now, so some precipitation to the Pacific Northwest. Besides some high clouds spilling over the ridge, we are pretty clear here in California. So where do we go from here? Well, the ridge does move a little bit farther to the east. This cold front is going to approach us out of the weekend, but notice it still just can't quite make it over the hill. So the cold front gets close, but it doesn't really do anything for us. In fact, you know, I think we'll still, still just see partly cloudy skies over the next couple days. Eventually we'll cool off a little bit toward the middle portion of the week as the trough settles in, but not by tomorrow. Take a look at your Easter forecast sunrise. Heading out to a sunrise service tomorrow morning. It'll still be a little chilly, upper 40s. Mostly clear skies, though, by 9 a.m. brunch time. Getting ready, 56 degrees, mostly sunny skies. So Grandma is putting the finishing touches on the deviled eggs at noon. I don't know. Can you have deviled eggs on Easter? Is that okay? Is that... It's that bad. I don't know. You guys figure that out. 70 degrees, though. Uh, your average coastal temperature. It'll be a little bit cooler right along the water. Um, you know, places like Monterey with the sea breeze, you'll probably be mostly like in the low to mid 60s. But average coastal temperature close to 70 by noon and 72 by 3 p.m. So it's going to be nice and warm tomorrow. Santa Cruz, Watsonville, Salinas, all nice and warm tomorrow. Just a little bit cooler on the peninsula with that breeze coming ashore. Feature cast showing mostly clear skies overnight. We'll have a light northwest breeze kicking in tomorrow afternoon. The water is ice cold right now and by ice cold I mean 50 degrees so not 32 it's not I'm being you know I'm being a little bit mad you know I'm, I'm being a little bit uh, I'm carrying it carrying it over too much I'm getting carried away man I just wasted 30 seconds of my weather cast trying to figure out what word to say now we are into 45 seconds anyway a little bit cool off the water tomorrow those winds but not too bad uh, they're not gonna be strong there should be a light sea breeze tomorrow afternoon lots of sunshine tomorrow evening though we may see a few low clouds return on the scene um, right along the coast late in the day because of the onshore flow. But other than that, looking like a pretty nice Easter. Lots of sunshine for us. And let's take a look at some temperatures. I've got you in the 70s in Santa Cruz, 71 degrees, 73 in Ben Lomond, Scotts Valley, even up at the top of the hill. Highway 17, you're at 68 tomorrow. Capitola close to 70 tomorrow. Watsonville. We're going to get you into the 70s tomorrow as well. Even uh, Aptos right around 70 degrees. 73 in Salinas, 76 in Hollister, and also the amount of trombones in the big parade. And Gilroy at 75 tomorrow over to the Monterey Peninsula, expecting a little bit cooler weather, but you'll still be warm for this time of year, believe it or not. 67 your high in Monterey and Seaside, Carmel 68, even Pacific Grove next to that ice cold ocean. 60s tomorrow. Down south, we're going to get to 80 in Greenfield. I got you as our hot spot tomorrow. If you want to hit the 80s tomorrow, if you want to see that little car thermometer, you know, one in your car that's not really super accurate, but if you just want to see it touch 80, Greenfield's the best place to go, or a big area of black pavement. You might get that anywhere. But either way, nice and warm tomorrow. We look at that seven day forecast. Tomorrow will be the warmest day. We'll be a little bit cooler at times during the week. We'll have some ups and downs, but notice no rain in that forecast. Occasionally partly cloudy skies as that trough passes by midweek, but really looking pretty nice here for the next couple of days. Lows pretty seasonable, highs pretty seasonable as well, at least on the coast. Inland highs may be a little bit cooler at times uh, as we head through midweek but man I've been waiting for a forecast like this I'm tired of talking about the rain don't bring that up next time we're in a drought but right now for now Victor it's good to see a dry seven day absolutely we'll hold off on praying for rain for now thanks so much Dan